Welcome to Quick Classroom Mysteries. You must be the new junior detectives. Let us see how well you can put your new fan skills to the test. You'll be working closely with our best detectives, Inspector Fuchs and Detective Atler. Since you're new detectives, we'll need your help in the future to help solve cases. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of future cases. Now to the case. Detective Atler bowed Inspector Phillips up outside the coffee break room. Your mate Parker the Barker is in interrogation room 3. Says he has a huge tip about an art theft. Detective Atlas stifled a giggle as Inspector Phillips rolled his eyes. Parker Jones was known to most inspectors and detectives. He made a career out of being a snitch to the police. He would ask to be paid for tips. Oftentimes, this paid off, and he was a good informant. But sometimes, when he was low on money, he would come in with fake tips. Morning, Parker, Inspector Phillips said, sitting down across the table from a the dishevelled and dirty informant. I hear you have an art theft tip for me. Tell me about it. Hey, Inspector Phillips. Well, this is huge. I think this is at least a $10,000 tip, Parker said excitedly. Oh, yeah, Inspector Phillips said, raising one eyebrow. How about you tell me, and I'll decide how much it is worth. Parker hesitated before deciding to take a chance. Well, I met this new business partner, Parker hesitated. But Inspector Phillips motioned for him to continue. Okay. So I was at his place, looking at stock, when I saw he had a box with a lock on it. I asked him, What is in there? At first he says nothing. But I kept asking. He makes me swear that I won't tell anyone about it. So I do. Inspector Phillips and Parker make eye contact briefly at the nature of the situation. Keep going, Inspector Phillips said as he continued to draw in his notebook. Okay, so he unlocks the box and inside is this rolled up canvas. He opens it up and it was the Mona Lisa, you know, that fancy painting from France or wherever. Parker answered, looking inquiringly at Inspector Phillips. I know the one, Inspector Phillips said, sitting up a little straighter. Furrowing his brow, Inspector Phillips asked, Did he tell you how he stole it? Yes, Parker said, his excitement clearly getting more obvious. He started to break to me said that he got an art forger to paint him a near-perfect copy. He then flew to France and spent three weeks casing the museum. He learned the pattern of the security cameras and the security guards. One day, it was very quiet, right near closing time. He used a knife to cut out the original Mona Lisa and glued his fake in place on the wall. He then rolled up the original and just walked out the front door. So, Inspector Felix, what do you think? Ten thousand or fifteen thousand dollars even. I can take you to his place to arrest him and recover the painting. I think, Inspector Phillips stated, if you're going to come and waste my time and lie to me, you need to do a better job. Now get out of here before I arrest you and give me a fake tip off. How did Inspector Phillips know that Parker's story was fake? Pause now to discuss with your class. Inspector Phillips knew Parker's story was fake because the original Mona Lisa was painted on wood and not canvas, like Parker said. You have been excellent detectives. We will need your help in the future to help solve cases. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of future cases. Thanks for watching.